Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. So guys, I'm going to feed one of my scorpions today. And it's my Androctonus Australasia Hector, which is in this enclosure here. They come from North Africa and the Middle East. So I still have those crickets from the Barnsley show. Still got a few left in there. I've got to put some lettuce in there. I'll just put them on this heat cable just to keep them warm. And same with my... Mario worms. So my Androctonus is in this little tub here. Let's just take off the lid and just lift. It's only small. There it is just there guys. Let's just get my UV light and have a look. There it is. Oh my god, look at that. So happy I bought this UV light. Only cost me £10, as you know. So yeah, like I said, only small. Let's just turn that around. Let's see if I can get a better a better view. Let's just zoom in for you. And there it is. I would say female. The claws are long and slender. I've had this one a while now. Probably around four years around that area. So yeah, I'll get a nice small cricket, guys, and uh, hopefully it should take it down. So guys, here goes. Should be hungry. I'll just move the... See, there's a cricket just here. You can see that the scorpion just wants to hide away. Yeah, you can see this cricket just here. So guys, I've taken out the cricket. I'm going to use a Mario worm instead. It's a fairly big Mario worm, but uh, it should be okay for this scorpion because they have a very strong venom, venom level five. 
And the good thing with sand is that Mario worms can't burrow in the sand. That's one of my pet hates with these Mario worms is that they burrow down. There we go. You can see that the the pincers are very, very small, so they do struggle to get the Mario worm. So let's just turn it around. Oh, there we go. There's the sting guys there. And I don't think the Mario worm like that. <laughs> but this scorpion is looking a little bit on the slim side now, so it was definitely due a feed. It was a lot bigger than this, a lot chunkier, I should say. There's another sting, guys. Always nice to see your animals eating or attacking its prey. Looks like another sting, guys. Third one. And I really want this scorpion to eat, guys, because, like I said, it is looking very slim. And look at that for a sting. Oh, my God. So I think we'll let this scorpion settle down and we'll come back in about 15 minutes or so and hopefully it should be eating. So guys, after about 10 minutes or so, you can see that the worm is nearly dead. And it is best to use my UV light because scorpions are not keen on a flashlight or a torch. So the UV light is better. So it didn't take long after three stings that the worm is nearly dead. I'm still moving around a little bit. So I'll get back to you guys very shortly. It should be starting to eat very soon. Just zoom in for you more. Don't really want to disturb the scorpion too much, guys. So I'll just move the enclosure around just a little bit. And uh, yeah, everything's looking okay so far. I'll get back to you guys very shortly. So, guys, after about 10 minutes or so, the scorpion's been moving the Mario worm around. It was in the water dish. And then she moved it from there, or he, I'm not too sure if it's a male or female. And then moved it to the corner, and now it's moved it to here. So it looks like it's settled down now, after a while. And you can see that the 
Scorpion does struggle to move the worm because it only has slender claws. But hopefully, very soon it will start eating, and when it does, I'll press record, guys, and uh, we'll take a look. Scorpions do this a lot, guys. They seem to <laughs> move the food around in their in their mouth. Probably a better way for them to move their food instead of using their pincers. So they use their jaws and use their body weight to move their meal around. Looks like the Moria worm's sleeping on the scorpion, but I can assure you it's not. That Moria worm is dead now. After three stings, it's probably just trying to find a comfortable place to eat its meal. So hopefully soon it should start eating and uh, I do like it when scorpions eat. It is uh, a little bit unusual. So hopefully it should start eating very soon and I'll get back to you guys very shortly. So guys, it's made a little home inside the water dish until I put the piece of cork bark back in for its hide. And at last, guys, it's starting to eat. These Moria worms have a tough shell, so it might take it a while to start eating its uh, meal or penetrate the the worm itself. But, um, yeah, always nice to see them eat, so... Looks like we'll leave this scorpion alone, guys. I'll put the hide in. And once it's finished with its meal, I'll fill that water dish up. And it'll take a drink as well. So, guys, I have put a bigger piece of cork bark in for its hide. So, let's just have a quick look, see if it's eating. Yeah, it looks like it's started. Yeah, there we go. So we'll think we'll leave this scorpion alone now, guys. Still moving it around a little bit in the water dish. Let's just zoom in for you. Get a little bit closer. There we go. And I think we'll leave this scorpion alone now, guys. So yeah, it's nice to see one of my scorpions eating. And it might carry it now to where the hide is, where it's nice and dark. So I hope you enjoyed this video ladies and gentlemen and thanks for watching everyone.